Hey Strikers, this is SF and it's time for Etika's set of dungeons and my first team for the first dungeon is going to be Arcadia, uh, Lila and Arcadia. Now you get Etika's after you clear off Will, Hatchery and Wired Stage. It doesn't matter of order, it's just as long as you clear all three sets then this will show up. And my friend is going to be Kali and let's go. Now most of the enemies here, I think all of them, I think are Paladins. So that's why Arcadia is there. So Arcadia's bump combo is very, very strong. And the main hazard is warp. So Lila is great just because of having a strong uh, no warp monster. And Kali is to help speed everybody up for damage because uh, there are zombie loops. Uh, these are Izanami style zombie loops. So the zombies are the white knights of each stage. So they will heal up, uh, revive up to two guys at a time. So basically just clear them off to stop the zombie loop. Now hopefully I get lucky and I did get lucky. So let's hopefully just kill off the white knight. Perfect. And Kali is a great support for this stage. And now to finish off the knight. Now unlike Hatchery and why there is no elemental effectiveness so just bring any color any element you want next stage is a triple zombie loop a triple zombie with the loop and just clear them off before the white knight on the bottom right counter goes to zero Did it. Ooh, nice more yeah, the power of Lila's super no warp is very very strong because there's so many warps in here and you just get an increase of a damage that can kill a lot. Okay, next is mini boss number one and it is Mr. Tristan. Now the knights will have a cross skull on them so you have to clear them all before you get the effect. Uh, the effect is a defense down. So basically you need to clear out the mobs before you can deal uh, damage towards Tristan. Okay. And these are zombie loops. So just clear them off slowly and clear out the white knights first before you get onto the dark ones. Okay, Lila, I'm pretty sure Arcadia's bump combos will be enough. If I can actually hit all the Arca <laughs> both Arcadias, it's fine for now. Uh, just make sure you clear them off before. Oh, I got lucky there. Uh, before Tristan's bottom counter. It's not a one shot, but it will deal a lot of damage to you if you're not careful. It's about 20k, but it is avoidable, but it is a spread shot. So it's hard to clear. So let's just hit Arcadia for the bump combo and get that defense down. And after that it's just pulling Lila for damage. With the defense down it is very easy to uh, clear Tristan. Oh the revival. But that's fine. He still has his defense down so let's stretch out just to get the damage in. Although I shouldn't, but who cares? Damage is more important. Now it's the matter of when it when the defense down resets. Let's pull Lila. Ooh, not enough. Okay, one more turn before the spread shot comes. Let's grab the hearts just in case. I should be able to survive, but you never know. Or I can just clear him right there. That's also good. <laughs> okay, boss time. 30 turns. It should be 4 bars. For Mr. Gildare. It's 3 bars. Now there's an HP trigger, but focus on clearing out the white knights first. Before you do anything. Okay, good. 
And I have Arcadia's pool, that pumpkin will lock. But let's speed up using the speed booster. And there will be no more white knights. And let's just finish off that Dark Knight to get the defense down. Perfect. Now he will transform in with the HP trigger. There's not much to it after you get the defense down in my opinion. So once you get the defense down just basically spam damage onto him and he should be dead. Now there are some attacks that you want to avoid, like the lasers. Oh, uh, hit! Okay, that's fine. Guild Ray is not attacking yet. And Lila for the finish of this bar. Okay, next stage. Starting off with... Oh, this is kind of hard just because of the position of the White Knight. So let's just strike shot. And hopefully the clone strike shot will be enough to clear. Nope, it didn't. At least I didn't proc the uh, HP trigger. As long as you proc the HP trigger after you get the defense down, you should be okay. Next is Kali. Good. Now the White Knights are both low, so it's all about hitting one of the Arcadias to finish it off. But it is pretty hard with this angle. There we go. Good. And if I can clear the Dark Knight along with it, then that would be perfect. Guess not. Which is totally fine. But yeah, that horizontal laser is pretty big. So you gotta avoid it. Come on, Dark Knight. Why are you so tanky? All of a sudden. Ouch. This is rough. And I s revived the dark uh, light knights, the white knights. So I have to start all over again. Ouch! That hurts. There's a heart. As long as I hit the Arcadias, I should be fine. I didn't. This is gonna hurt. Barely survived. Okay, Arcadia strike shot. Gonna grab the heart. Come on. This is not great at all. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna Lila strike shot. And. Just brute force, brute force guild array. Hopefully, guess not. Two more turns until guild array explodes, and I'm just gonna brute force it and move on to the next stage because this is not the best. Okay, I wasted three strike shots on that bar, just because I didn't clear off the knights before the. Uh, clear the nice before the witch cut. Before the trigger. Okay. Last stage. And I am pretty bad in terms of strike shots. But you just gotta clear off the knights before. Before you hit the trigger, and then you should be fine. Next is Lila, which is not in a great position. But we will see. The white knights are really squishy. So, hit one more Arcadia. Good, there you go. 
Whew. And just gotta finish off the White Knight and I should be good, especially with Kali Strike Shot. Defense down. Perfect. And Kali. I'm not gonna risk going straight down, so I'm gonna do so, uh, two bounce. Off the walls into the weak points. Oh, I missed the weak point. Sad face. But it's fine. Uh, he will revive all those knights. But I do have the defense down. So just gotta clear Mr. Gilderay. Okay, let's light a strike shot just to heal up. Oh, that is perfect, actually. Ooh, nice damages. Okay, two more turns, I would think, to finish off Guild Array. And last but not least, it will be Kali. Okay, good, good. Oh, perfect! Thank you for the weak point. <laughs> well, whew, uh, the la uh, the second last bar was just bad on my part. As long as you clear off the cross skulls, all the knights before the HP trigger, or you get the defense down before the HP trigger goes down, then you'll be it'll be pretty easy. Uh, just bring Arcadius, although he is he is a farmable, but he is a colossal, so m some people might not have him. Uh, if you don't have Arcadia, then you gotta bring like Aladdin or Lila, something with a short cooldown with uh, uh, some speed up or power up in their strike shots, or Anderson because he has a Pal Paladin Slayer M and a no warp. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.